Minister of Foreign Affairs and South African High Commission in Kampala held a joint press conference early this morning with assurance of the safety of the Ugandan nationals in South Africa. One Ugandan is known to have been killed but in a murder resulting from robbery. However, nationals living in Durban and Johannesburg, the most affected cities, have been cautioned to remain in their communities. Ambassador James Mugumi, the Permanent Secretary, says the ministry has been keenly monitoring the situation for response in case the attacks escalate. The crisis team, composed of uh, officials from our security agencies, from private research offices, from foreign affairs, and, and uh, other agencies, to monitor the situation, have been created to gather information where the Ugandans are, the contracts, the leadership, the, where the leadership is. Just in case the situation deteriorates. There is a possible compensation for victims of the attacks. Some of them are South Africans that were looting the shops and were running away and were still killed. So, of course, if it was a foreigner who was uh, attacked and, uh, you know, it was totally innocent, I think they will look at the merits of each case to see how they can assist those families. At least, Five people are reported to have been killed following the xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Accusations are labelled on the statement made by Zul King, Godwill Zolethini, that is now regarded as having been misinterpreted. Zolethini is largely quoted as saying that foreigners must return to their countries. So he was specifically referring to, to those foreigners who had come across into South Africa and were not operating legally in South Africa. There are about 2 million migrants in South Africa, of which Uganda accounts for 200,000, although illegal migrants are believed to be significant. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.